Hello again, and I would like to start off showing what I had done off camera just to speed things along a little bit. I did not bring these chickens here, obviously, because they're chicks. Well, not obvious, but um, I went kind of far that way. I went on this map, I went to, well, I can't point, um, right where the, the rock is on the bottom left area, like that way, that way, I can kind of point to it. I was right at that rock area, just right there. And I found a bunch of chickens, I put them in a hole just like this, with a trapdoor thing. I fed a couple of them with seeds to make to a breed, and throughout the whole time I was staying there, I had a bed with me, uh, this bed, and I kept sleeping throughout the night so I don't have to wait um, through mobs. I would just keep, it was like, I think two nights total, I slept through. So I had uh, three constant days in a row. So I had chickens breeding and breeding. I had um, 16 plus 7 is 24, 23. 23. I had 23 eggs and I threw them and I only got two chicks. But I mean, even if I only had one, I'd be okay. It would just take a while. By now I can breed them whenever they grow up. Slow babies. I got my chest room area. Not room, but chest area. So now, to, to figure out which is which, I just know by memory, sort of, but this is hardened clay. This doesn't have anything. <laughs> Wood is on the bottom of this. The nether items. The plants, which I don't have a block for plant. Actually, I could use one of these and one of the melons. Never mind. Got something. Ta-da! I'm gonna put a melon on the other side. So I've got the dirt. My quartz, my... what is this? Wool? No, iron. Okay, these are iron blocks. Fish, obviously I, I, I can't put a fish block down, there's nothing. Um, this is wool. And I also put the glass in here, because I don't... I don't know. I just kind of thought it would fit. My stone, my... whatever. My coal, redstone. Um, this is like rare stuff, and drops sand and uh, gravel, cobble. And then I'm only able to do this because these are trap chests. If you can see the red right here, it's a trap chest. So if I put something behind it that would react to redstone, it would light up. This doesn't count because I don't think this can power this. It powered the block adjacent to it. No, it would actually because it's powering this block right here. Although this is already constantly being powered by a lever. So it's fine. Like it'll never just turn off because of this. But that's how I'm able to do them right next to each other. And I wish you could actually, like once they're assigned, like a double chest, you can have another double chest next to it, so we don't have to do the, uh, the trap chest system. But, I mean, it works. It's it's fine. I just had to use a piece of iron per um, two chests. So one, two, three, four. I had to use four pieces of iron, apparently. Because every, um, every tripwire, that's what it is, tripwire hook, Every two is one iron ingot. But on to the more awesome stuff, I got the second hole dug. And it's a safe ball, and I haven't tested it since I put the water in. Okay, perfect. Okay, it's three blocks of water with the sign stopping it, so I can just land. And I've got my ladder up. I just dig dug that one. I did that one before. And what else? I've gotten... Well, the 25 levels throughout the whole time that I've been off screen, I believe. Maybe a couple were on camera. But I did fill out this map a little bit more, as you can see. I'm going to fill out the rest of the Mesa biome. I can't look to the right. I'm going to fill out the rest of that. Um, when I was inside of the, the where the river is to the left, uh, with, in the desert, I found a desert temple, which had the 9 TNT... Um, some emerald? I think it had something to do with two diamonds, and two of the diamonds, the emeralds, a lot of gold. Um, I did find all these horse armors because I found a dungeon that way. I know where it is. Um, it's a zombie dungeon, so it's not too much of a use to me. Although if I do want to, um, get villagers, that is a... Very, like, that is the spot that I will go to. 
Pokemon a minecart system and bring them over. So I'm very nicely set. And this is my like fourth cactus harvest. Boop. <laughs> I love that. Oh god, the lag. Slight lag. Oh I've noticed this too. Okay. You see this? The the cactus actually renders in a weird way. Um it looks like it's split, but when I'm holding it, it's not. It's something to do with like look at this. Whenever the cactus is the farthest one to the right inside the inventory. Yeah, see? Whenever it's farthest to the right in that inventory section, it renders with open um, connection, like, pixels. So if I have it here, this one splits. If I have it here, well, it doesn't split because I'm holding it, but it's also not the farthest one to the right. <laughs> Something I noticed, which isn't really important, but just a visual bug. And now the very, not difficult, but starting to get annoying, <laughs> um, replanting. Which I'm, I'm fine with. I get a lot from this, because I'm not using it as fast as I'm making it, or getting it. But I have to pick it up before I place it down, or it'll delete the items. Okay. And I have added some of these redstone lamps. I don't think that was there last time. I'm getting closer at finishing off um, the path. This actually took a lot of quartz, like three stacks probably, because these are um, slabs stacked on top of each other and then blocks stacked on top of each other to make two. <sighs> That's a lot. I'm nearly done. Got my chickens fully grown, perfect. Now I can show off. That's not the plants, this is plants. I got my cactus right here. I'll bring out just two seeds because there's two of them. This is what I'm able to do. I'll check here. One, two. Oh, oh, okay. I what just happened? That is a new one. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out how I just did that. I like pushed myself into this wall. Whatever. Um, I'm trying to sort a lot more of my stuff. Like, I'm not sure exactly where I'm going to put this. Probably the nether items, because the glowstone itself isn't a redstone item. Um, these should be in... in... here. Melon pumpkin. I have to make a melon pumpkin farm. Automated, because I want to soon. Um, but if I'm going to do it I can't do it directly below this because it has the room of redstone. But this is not going to stay here. This is going to be moved. This is just temporary because I needed a place to enchant stuff. And it's definitely not going to stay here. Um, it's also not even, so it wouldn't really work. I don't know how I'm going to do it in a way to make it even. Ooh, I could do it in a corner. I think that would look nice. And I can only have it too tall because the third one didn't work. I tested it. Now I've switched over to my iron pickaxes, the, that's when I was going mining recently, to try to get the rest four levels. And then I can fully enchant, a, mm, full, yeah, fully enchant another iron pickaxe until I get fortune three. I don't want to break the diamonds, because I don't need to. Wait, where is it? Diamonds, here. I don't want to break these. I've gotten up to 12 now. I don't want to break them because I don't want to waste. I don't have any possibility of waste. If I have fortune 3, then I have the total maximum possibility of getting the highest amount of diamonds from what I've gotten. This doesn't have redstone lamps. This is the only section that doesn't actually have. I don't know if... Where's block light? Oh, block light 7. Looking at that, um, right the second line from the bottom on the left side, right after that, it says the LC111B Mesa Plateau F. Plateau. Uh, the BL is block light. I don't know about the other ones, but I mean, something light. R light. I don't know. The block light is what I'm worried about. Seven or lower can spawn in mobs. So this whole area can spawn in mobs while I'm away. So that means I'm probably going to put some of the redstone uh, lamps along the path, which wouldn't look that bad. 
I can actually do that now, because I haven't done much on camera in a little bit. How much of this am I going to need? A lot. I'm going to need the glowstone, but I'm also going to need... Okay, cobble. Glowstone. That was a small amount of lag. I don't know how many I'm going to need, but I need to space them out in the... Oh, where did I put that red... Did I put the redstone in the chest? Oh, wow. I never thought I'd be one to do that. I've seen so many people do that. So I've got 16... Doo -doo -doo. Okay, I gotta make some levers, because this is just the way I'm doing it. I'm um, not sure if there's any better way. But I'm gonna have to move this, because I'm gonna have to break a block. Or two... Wait. Need to eat. <laughs> I'll just sleep. Why not? Why not? Why not type in single player so no one else can hear you? Oh, now I know why not. Okay, well, never mind. Um, I can determine block light still. <laughs> oh, SL is sunlight. I don't know what RL is, but SL is definitely sunlight. Because now it's all at 15, because the sun's high in the sky. So that doesn't matter. Um, I'll just do one here. Which means I'm going to do this. Actually, I'm not sure if I have to be careful about that. Um, I don't think there can be Mesa Caves. So I don't think I have to be worried about it. But what I'm going to look at is when it goes down to 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. Okay, so from here, this is, this is where 7 is. So actually, I'm going to move it here to be safe. One, two, three, four, five spaces. One, two, three, four, five spaces. It would go here to be the maximum efficiency, right? So now if I check block lights, 11, 10, 9, 8, 8. Perfect. So I need 10 spaces in between to get the perfect amount of lighting. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right here. Wait. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I want to have another one here anyway. Which means now I can kind of push this one if I want to. One more over, which I, I will probably. I mean, not probably, I'm doing it right now. Don't want to leave any hole, even though I'm never going to see it. I did not need nearly as many as I thought, so I get to put them back. Well, not back, I'm going to put them in here. Along with this, because it's a redstone item. This is how I sort, I don't know, I just kind of pick where I think something should go. I hear a lot of spiders and they just climb over my wall. So I definitely need to get on to Ooh, okay, getting the the squid ink, which is what I'm waiting on. As long I mean as well as getting some more glass. I need the squid ink to mix with bone to get the gray uh the gray dye to dye the glass that looks the like the best with this cyan wool. I would put it on the cyan layer on certain parts, otherwise I'll have the cyan floor again as my ceiling. And I'll put some other stuff at the top. I don't know what I'm going to put at the top exactly. Um, I, mm, I can't really do farms because it's going to need water, unless I have the one off the floor, which I could do. Um, well, I would definitely have to do it because if I'm going to have something like a weed farm, probably not. I want to do an automated one, but let's just say I do a wheat farm on the second floor. I'd have the dirt layer on top of it, because I wouldn't I wouldn't want dirt to be my ceiling here. I want it to be up here and still have my floor as the cyan uh, the cyan this cyan hardened clay. But then I want the glass to be over top of definitely this area, because I like the sunlight to go all the way to the bottom and break up the void fog. And I don't think I'm gonna have too much above this section here or here. I would have the 
staircase going up. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna do that. Probably double because I don't want, I don't want to pick here or here, just one side. Now probably gonna have the enchanting room directly above this in the corner, and I don't know about that. Or over here. <laughs> just my plans. And I can probably free them again just before I go. Did I? I didn't get that. Oh. Whoa. Oh, I did it again. Okay, I see what's happening. I'm trying to shift click into here, but it's going to the the stack in the chest. Oh, perfect. The egg farm is already working. Well, for now, I'm just gonna keep throwing them. Ta-da! Because I need as many chickens as as many chickens as possible before I kill. This is my food supply for now, which is very good. I'm not going to run out for a little while. Well, a good while. This is some of the iron and gold that I got when I was just mining before I started recording. And this has been a long conversation with myself. Still kind of weird. Oh, wait. What is this? Ready? Oh, this is seven. Hmm. I'm gonna have to put more in, more of these, more frequently because around these points are where those are. They're fine up until a certain point, where there's just this area like here that's just untouched by light because it's got here, 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 and it's not overlapping where it should. Or it's not uh, connecting in the best way. So I'll do that. Okay. I'm just gonna do one, two, three. I, mean, I need to make this even. I have uh, the same amount of. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five. I'll do five in between. That should be good. Well, this one I don't have light, so I can't test this one. This corner, this one I do, and these are the chests are transparent blocks, so they are able to actually yeah. When it's transparent, a mob cannot spawn on a transparent block. Um, the redstone lamp, I believe, is transparent. The glass is. Chests are. Um, what else? Actually, redstone blocks might be. I think they are. Just some things like that, called transparent blocks, like half slabs, um, stairs. So even though this is seven, it's where I'm standing, down here is not, and it can't spawn within the block of the chest. And all the way over here is good, and I have the lights that reach to the corner. So this corner, this square is 100% mob proof, 100%. Now, okay, along the edge here is not. That's because, I don't know. Hmm. I think for now I'm going to add a torch just to temporarily do it. And the longer I have a torch, the more I'm going to want to get rid of it. Oh, I should just, just to keep myself safe because I've had creepers spawn in here. And that was annoying. I did have one blow up the chests over here. I got all the items, fixed everything, so, I mean, there was no real point in me telling you, but I want to make sure I say everything that happens. This is not five. Didn't do that. Good. There we go. Need this here, and there, and not that crap. Like this, so it's got five blocks, five block, one, two, three, four, five. One, two. No. I meant to do this. And then I'm just gonna do this. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna handle this. Okay, okay. I, 
think I know what I'm going to do. I actually have to move this over one. And then I can... I'm not saying anything. Then I can... One, two, three, four, five. What is this? Two over there. Three, okay. So if I move this over by one, then they're both even. Or it'll be an even map distance or something. Hang on. I'm forgetting. One, two, three, four, five, six. So yeah. Okay. So over here is even with this side. And this is split. This is half because right here is half. I should have known that. Um, now, let's see, yeah, right around here is now the right amount, actually, it's, that's perfect, okay, over here is not, same with this corner, okay, something wrong with the corner, and it's not being obstructed, I'm not sure, over here is definitely, yeah, right here, okay, now my place is 100% mob proof, and I'm gonna leave it off at that. Actually, the corners of the, the ridge at the top is not, because I've seen um, zombies up there and they can't climb up there. So they spawned. And thank you, Sunset. I will go with the Sunset. Thank you so much for watching. Um, tell me if you like the series, because soon I have to make the, I guess I'm going to call it a museum. It's going to be massive to fit one of every single item in the game. And block probably in item frames, so I'm going to need my cow farm up and running. Alright, see you later.